All right, guys, it is Valentine's Day. Um, we aren't doing anything crazy, but we are gonna go out, so I figured I would make a little video while I get ready. Um, I'm going to start out with the makeup primer. This stuff is incredible. I've never found a makeup primer before that I liked um, until this one. It literally feels like silk whenever you're putting it on. Um, it has hyaluronic spheres in it, so it's hydrating your face while you're wearing it under your makeup all day, which I love because especially right now my skin's been so, so dry and it just creates a really nice base for my makeup to sit on top of. Um, before I did this, I obviously washed my hands since I'm putting this on with my hands and I started out by using the um, R9 Advanced Cleanser and then I used, it's actually right here, um, the Prep Work Hydrating Dew Cream. I like this moisturizer for wearing under my makeup because it's light and it absorbs quickly. And then I used the Nourishing Facial Oil because like I said, my skin's been so, so dry here lately that it's like painful, especially through here. I don't know if anybody else has been getting really dry skin, but. Okay, so I am using the Arbonne Intelligence Pollution Defense CC Cream in the shade Light. Um, I just put like a little dot on my hand and I start blending it through. I love the coverage of this and how lightweight it is. I don't feel like I'm wearing a ton of makeup, but it really evens out my complexion. And I am sitting on the floor in front of like my big mirror. With my window open, this is how I get ready whenever I am doing my makeup or my hair. I had a vanity at one point, but I just can't get close enough to the mirror, and I really like sitting crisscross applesauce, so here we are. Alright, I am going to use the Shape It Up Brow Pencil in the shade Light, and I will just fill in the sparse areas. I learned from the best of the best how to shape my eyebrows so fortunately my regular eyebrows are pretty good I just fill in a little bit where I need to all right we got eyebrows on I'm going to use the real conceal in fair um, this summer I know that this is going to be a bit too pale for me, but I don't um, tan in tanning beds because it's terrible for your skin and it causes premature wrinkles. So I'm just going to cover up a few little wacky dots that I'm not digging on my face. And then I will also use this to... Um, a little bit and I'm just using a little beauty blender this is not the beauty blender brand it's RT but I do get it damp before I use it and that prevents all of the product from soaking up to into the sponge which is important because if you invest in your makeup then you definitely don't want all of it to be on a sponge and not on your face. So I used to do like the really big triangles of concealer under my eyes. Um, and it like makes me look strung out and crazy so I don't do that anymore I just do like a little dot and I blend it out really good and blend it down the beauty bloggers that do that rock it but for me it is not not good Okay, so I have literally the best bronzer collection ever um, just from these two palettes. This one right here 
is one of my favorites. It's just our regular bronzer. It has a little bit of a light shimmer to it. Um, it's a little bit on the darker side, but it's good for all skin tones. Um, and then this palette is the Starlight Glow palette. Um, and it's magnetic, so I don't have to worry about it like opening up while I'm traveling. Um, but it has four different colors on it. Um, this one does not have a shimmer, but these other three do. And I use this one as a blush and I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go with Twilight today for my contour. I've been experimenting lately with where I should apply my contour because I feel like obviously as we age our faces change and I've been since I did my first round of the 30 days healthy living my um since I've been losing weight my face is changing too so having to figure out like new placement as I change has been kind of a fun challenge do a little bit on my forehead seriously obsessed with this color A little bit of jawline action because who doesn't want to look chiseled, you know? If you guys can see, my lips have been so chapped. No joke, my skin's been so dry lately, but that nourishing oil's been making a really big difference. You guys, if you aren't blending your contouring into your hairline, people see it and they're talking about it. All right, so next I'm going to use the It's All in the Eyes Volume 2 palette. I selected this one because I really like um, purple tones and like rosy tones on my skin. But I believe I'm about ready to order the Volume 1 because I've been seeing it. Um, it's a little bit more like neutral colors and I think it looks so pretty too. I've seen a lot of videos of girls using it and it looks gorgeous. So I'm using the shade Opal just on my entire lid. Um, I like that it has a little bit of a shimmer. And then I think I'm going to combine, what is this? Prism and Pebble. Okay, so pretty blended, super natural. Um, I'm not going for like anything crazy. I'm not gonna do like eyeliner or anything like that today, I don't think. Big fan of eyeliner, but I don't think I'm gonna do eyeliner today. So next up will be the Speak Volumes Mascara. <laughs> it's so good. Um, I've always had a difficult time finding a mascara that I love, this one love it um i'm not gonna do this on camera because i'm gonna be all up in your grill and you're not gonna like it so be right back all right so i have one eye done clearly you can tell which one is done and i am obsessed with this mascara i don't feel the need to wear fake lashes anymore when we go out um for me to just take them off halfway through the night and think i look like a clown without like my eyelashes on but this mascara is conditioning for my eyelashes so whenever i put it on i know that like um, I'm not damaging my natural lashes by wearing it, which is huge for me because I do like to be able to just put on one coat of mascara and go without being like, okay, I need eyelash extensions. I need something. So I'm a big fan of this mascara. I think that it's so good. 
got both eyes done. All right, I'm using the um, Blossom Blush. A lot of people compare this to NARS Orgasm, which I don't know if there's a girl out there that doesn't own NARS Orgasm. It is a peachy pink tone with like just really, really, really small gold flecks in it. So it's very complimentary for um, almost all skin tones. Okay, I used the Lip Duo um, lip gloss shade in Petunia. Um, these are awesome. They have a gloss and then a matte. And I have it in quite a few colors. My other ones must be in my personal living room. But um, this is the look for today.